How are you feeling at this very moment? Are your emotions tumultuous, calm, or perhaps you're experiencing that emotional attachment, a feeling so intense it seems like you're trapped in a maze with no way out? Imagine yourself as a majestic bird whose wings were made to touch the sky, but by some twist of fate or an unexpected choice, finds itself confined in a cage. But what if I told you there's a key to that cage? A key that can free you for flights never before imagined, beyond the clouds of the everyday. Are you curious to find out how to unlock this door to freedom? Ah, I promise you, it's an exhilarating journey, and we're going to embark on it together, step by step, guided by the giants of human thought who walked this earth long before us. I'm talking about the masters of Stoicism, Marcus Aurelius, Seneca, Epictetus, who have left us a treasure map to achieve not just emotional freedom, but a life of peace, contentment, and inner strength. But here's the twist. This emotional freedom and detachment the Stoics speak of is not about a simple disconnection or an escape from emotions, but rather a deeper understanding of who we really are. They teach us to look inward, to recognize our own chains, and most importantly, to have the courage to break them. Are you ready to embark on this adventure? Ready to discover time-tested strategies, surprisingly relevant to modern challenges, that help us let go of what weighs on our mind and heart? This is not just a path to emotional detachment, it's a journey toward reconnecting with your purest essence, where true freedom resides. Throughout this exploration, we will unveil ancient secrets that promise not just to lighten the burden of expectations, fear, and uncertainty, but also to illuminate a path filled with self-acceptance, self-love, and unwavering peace. Are you ready to break out of the cage, spread your wings, and soar to unexplored heights. Well, hold on tight, for this is the beginning of a transformative journey that promises to change the way you see yourself and the world around you. Let's unlock the door to a life of true freedom and happiness together. My name is Hugo. Please subscribe to the channel and let's get started. One, when you harness the power of detachment, why do we cling so tightly to things that, in the end, seem to limit us? Imagine your emotions as a balloon anchored to the ground. Each rope represents an emotional attachment, tying us to people, situations or objects. The more ropes you hold on to, the more your balloon is trapped, unable to rise. But have you considered that, by cutting some of these ropes, you not only free your balloon to soar higher, but also gain a new perspective on the world below. The Stoics, with their ancient wisdom, advise us, it is not events themselves that affect us, but our reactions to them. They advocate for the acceptance of what we cannot change and focusing on what is within our reach. Detachment is not synonymous with coldness, but rather a recognition of the transience of everything around us, finding freedom in accepting this transience. So, how do you start the process of letting go of these ropes? First, identify which attachments weigh down your balloon the most. Are you seeking approval from others? Afraid of being alone? Understanding what drives your attachment is the first step to overcoming it. Self-compassion and self-knowledge are powerful tools on this journey. Treat yourself with kindness recognizing your weaknesses and limitations without judgment. Accepting that perfection is an illusion can relieve many of the ropes that bind you. Furthermore, it's essential to cultivate healthy relationships based on mutual respect and emotional independence, avoiding the pitfalls of codependency, which only add more ropes to your balloon. By practicing detachment, you give your balloon the chance to ascend not because you don't care, but because you choose not to be governed by your attachments. You begin to live a richer and more conscious life, finding joy in yourself and the activities that give you purpose. 
Detachment paves the way for a deeper emotional balance, inner peace, and more authentic connections with others and the world around you. Imagine the wonderful view of a balloon rising freely, no longer tied to the ground. This is the transformative power of detachment. By cutting the ropes you don't lose, you gain the freedom to explore vast horizons, discovering strength in your adaptability and centering your being on what truly matters. 2. Understanding attachment and you will become better. Why, from the magical and innocent moment of birth, where purity and joy reign supreme, do we lose ourselves in a jungle of attachments? A newborn, free from the ties of ego, simply is an embodiment of love and contentment. But as we grow, we collect attachments as if they were treasures, clouding our vision and distancing us from our essence, which is pure love. Have you ever stopped to think that attachment, at its core, is an attempt by the ego to find security and validation? This longing for approval, whether in the tangible forms of material goods or the intangible ones, like status and recognition, sharply contrasts with the state of love and self-sufficiency that we naturally possess. Imagine for a moment the freedom of living from this place of love, not ego. The feeling of not being chained to specific outcomes, people, or that vision of success that is constantly sold on social media. Reflect on the beauty of trusting in the universe's abundance, firmly believing that what is truly meant for you will find its way. To embark on the journey toward detachment, begin by recognizing and admitting your attachments as manifestations of the ego. Change your perspective, your value is not tiered to these attachments. Embracing a practice of prioritizing inner peace and self-validation over external approval can be transformative. Adopting an abundance mindset helps overcome fears of loss, opening doors to receive more from the universe than what was left behind. The real journey, however, involves peeling back the layers of the ego to reveal the resilient and loving soul that resides within you. Self-awareness is crucial for recognizing the root causes of your attachments. Mindfulness facilitates a smooth transition to living a life anchored in love, not fear. This journey of detachment is not merely about letting go, it's a deep exploration of oneself, leading to a state of being that is free, light and open, to embracing new blessings with open arms and a steady heart. It's an invitation to rediscover the wholeness that comes not from the outside, but from deep within. A powerful reminder that when we free ourselves from attachments, we make room for a love and a life that are truly ours. 3. The Illusion of the Ego and Its Traps Have you ever wondered why, so often, we feel trapped in the seductive web of the ego, convinced that we are not good enough, or that something or someone out there is the key to our happiness. This is the grand illusion of the ego, a master at making us believe that we need more, must be more, to be considered valuable. Here's the dilemma. Our self-worth perception and the way we put others on pedestals are distorted by this illusion. We tend to idealize, forgetting that, at our core, we are all equal all vulnerable, all human. Confronting this illusion, recognizing it as a mirage that distorts our self-image and relationships, is crucial. The building of self-confidence and inner healing emerge as powerful antidotes against the traps of the ego. Recognizing our uniqueness and value does not place us above anyone else. Rather, it reminds us that we all share the same human experience. Our journeys, though unique, are not hierarchical, but colorful threads weaving the complex tapestry of life. The ego's illusion extends to our emotional attachments in relationships, work, and family life, promoting a scarcity mindset that imprisons us. By overcoming this mindset, we start to see the abundance of the universe and recognize our capacity to love without dependency. 
This freedom comes from understanding that our completeness does not depend on the presence of another person, allowing us to love more openly and freely. The Stoics teach us about the intrinsic equality among individuals and the importance of focusing on what is within our control, our perceptions, actions and wills. These principles deeply relate to detachment and human relationships, outlining a path to inner peace and emotional resilience. By disentangling ourselves from the illusions of the ego, we embrace the liberating truth of our shared humanity. This understanding prepares us to face life's uncertainties with dignity and grace. True freedom lies in recognizing that far from being a prison, our authentic self is sufficient, valuable and unique in its essence. In this recognition, we find not only inner peace, but also the strength to love truly, to live fully, and to face the world not with fear, but with an open and resilient heart. 4. Detachment in practice, time to act. Have you ever felt like you were holding onto a rope so tight that your hands start to hurt, but the fear of letting go is even greater? This is the dilemma of attachment in our lives. Whether clinging to past memories or relationships that no longer serve us, the act of holding on prevents the arrival of new possibilities and joys. Imagine for a moment the release that comes with finally letting go of that rope, your arms open, ready to embrace the new. Let's explore a scenario. You're in a comfortable but limiting relationship. Deep down, you know that this tie no longer contributes to your growth. The process of detaching is scary, filled with uncertainties. However, by making this choice, you encounter a freedom never felt before. The opportunities that arise not only broaden your horizons, but also enrich your being. Now consider FOMO, or the fear of missing out, especially in the context of social media. These platforms can distort our perception of reality, making us covet someone's filtered and edited life. But remember, the true essence of life isn't found in Instagram highlights, but in the genuine moments we live, in those memories we create that are uniquely ours. Reflecting on the incessant search for an illusory happiness, we realize that clinging to a false image of what it means to be happy, whether through others' successes or our own unrealistic expectations, only distances us from the beauty of our real lives. Every existence is imperfect, and it's these imperfections that make us authentically human and connect us to one another. Turning to Stoic teachings, we're reminded to focus on what is within our reach, our thoughts, actions, and personal development. There's extraordinary freedom in recognizing that no external factor, not others' opinions, past relationships, nor someone's seemingly perfect life on social media, can define our value or our happiness. Detachment, then, is not an act of renunciation, but a redefinition of happiness on our own terms. It's an invitation to live a life marked by genuine satisfaction, unexpected adventures, and meaningful connections. By letting go of the ropes that bind us, we open up space to discover a world full of possibilities, where true joy isn't something we seek out there, but something we cultivate within ourselves. Chive. The path to happiness is the best choice. In our journey through life, we often find ourselves in search of something more, something to fill a void that we can't always explain. But have you ever stopped to consider that true value, the one that truly fills all gaps, comes from within? The Stoics teach us that emotional freedom and self-worth emanate from our character, wisdom, and how we treat others, not from someone's approval or presence. Why then do we so often find ourselves tethered to the idea that our happiness depends on other people? This perception limits us, makes us dependent on external factors, when in reality we are like birds, free to fly without asking permission from anyone.
Our self-confidence and self-esteem should not waver in the wind of others' opinions. Misinterpreted emotional detachment may seem like a cold distancing, an indifference. However, it's quite the opposite. It's a reconnection with our essence, a focus on personal growth. Imagine tending to a garden, not focusing on a single flower, but nourishing the soil, caring for the environment as a whole, allowing the entire garden to flourish, regardless of who is watching. To start this journey of emotional detachment, begin by accepting your completeness, regardless of external approval. Adopt stoic principles, such as focusing on what is within your reach, your thoughts, actions, and personal development. Find satisfaction in emotional self-sufficiency, in the ability to fulfill yourself with your own achievements and growth. Marcus Aurelius, one of the greatest representatives of Stoicism, reminds us, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Thus, I reiterate, our value as individuals does not depend on the addition or validation of others, but on the continuous enrichment of our inner being. True happiness and lasting value come from recognizing and celebrating our own journey, abilities and growth. Let this be an invitation to reflection and action. Value yourself, nourish yourself and free yourself. Embrace your unique journey, for it is what defines your true value and the path to authentic and lasting happiness. So everyone, thank you for sticking with me this far. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more insights like this. Remember, speaking your truth is one of the most powerful acts of self-love you can practice. Let's go on this journey of self-expression and liberation together. I'll leave this video as a recommendation. Until the next video, keep being authentic, keep speaking your truth.